The mandate of eradicating human trafficking and stamping out violence against persons is an onerous one as emerging trends have to be confronted daily and new strategies put in place to keep abreast in the fight. You are watching Naptip on the Move and I am Emmanuel Okeke, glad to have you join us. Our package will bring you activities of the agency Get Towards Eradicating Human Trafficking, Domestic Violence and Child Abuse. We will start with a visit by the International Corporation Directorate of the State Secretariat for Migration all the way from Switzerland seeking partnership in the fight against the external trafficking in persons. Take a look. <music> A delegation from the Swiss Embassy visited the NAPTIP headquarters in Abuja. Commending the Director General of NAPTIP, the Head of the Delegation and Vice Director, International Cooperation Directorate of the State Secretariat for Migration, Vincenzo Massioli, spoke on the purpose of their visit. Uh, as you know, Switzerland and Nigeria um, have a special relation. Uh, we consider ourselves as partners and our cooperation in migration is very broad covering all aspects of migration and, and we all agree that human trafficking is one of the main issues in that re regard. We think that uh, you are doing um, an excellent job and, and uh, we would also be interested in having some of your experience. But we are quite satisfied with the, the cooperation we've had so far with the projects. Um, of course, we can always do better and um, we are open and willing to, to continue our cooperation. Welcoming the delegation, the Director General of NAPTIP, Dame Julie Okadonli, highlighted areas of concern. Um, there should be an agreement with NAPTIP on um, customized rehabilitation packages for each of the victims because each victim is unique. Everyone wants something. Everyone, you know, it, it shouldn't be a general. Uh, a, a rehabilitation package but it should be customized according to each of the individual um, needs based on their um, expressed uh, preferences. Um, we're also proposing a joint monitoring and information sharing on the progress of the victims upon return to Nigeria. You know, Then the victims of trafficking, they are usually at, are entitled to protection and assistance. In some countries, I don't know about Switzerland, you know, they are, they are, they are, these rights are not respected. She also sought for vital information to enable the prosecution of traffickers and advised the delegation to stem policies that encourage trafficking. In the issue of re return, readmission and reintegration, um, there is need for adequate information about Nigerian victims so identified in Switzerland, including information that may assist NAPTIP to apprehend and prosecute traffickers who are based in Nigeria. We need the information because for us here, yeah, it's total, you know, it's a total package. It's not enough to send people back to us to repatriate uh, voluntary returnees to Nigeria for their care and support. For us, the total victory and justice is when we apprehend the traffickers and, and prosecute them and, you know, send them to prison. So we want you to, to give us as much information as possible on our side 
and also to take care of those that are traffickers on your side as well and make sure that um, they, are, they go to jail. Um, there should also be seamless cooperation amongst law enforcement agencies and the social welfare agencies, the NGOs, especially in the countries without the TIP and RM, that's the natural referral mechanism. There are some countries who don't have one. So it's very important you know, that we have cooperation amongst the law enforcement agencies. Um, control of conditions within the Swiss society that en encourages trafficking. You also, you know, as much as we are looking at our root causes, you also need to look at the root causes in your country. What are those things that, you know, make um, human trafficking to, to, to thrive? You understand, you know, what is fueling the influx of migrants and trafficking activities in your country? You should also look at it because, I mean, if we're looking at it here in, from our side, and you're not looking at it from your side, then it's a waste of time. You know, we have to balance up and, 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 and attack it, you know, simultaneously. Responding to the issues raised, Vincenzo Massioli agreed to the need to monitor victim projects more closely and called for exchange programs in training. The visit was successful as both parties agreed to strengthen the existing partnership. In line with fostering fruitful partnerships, Ting Jili Okadani also met with a high-level delegation of media broadcast editors in Abuja. Keep watching. The broadcast editors group comprising of station managers and news editors from various television, radio and print houses, led by Tijani Yunusa, paid a courtesy call on the Director General of NAPTIP, Dame Julie Okadonli. We are here to partner with you because judging from the profession we choose to be, we are to partner with you in the areas of enlightenment and we know what your mandates are and the embarrassing situation the traffickers are giving Nigerians. Let us continue to be interacting so that whatever you believe we can do for you, we are ready to do it for the benefit of Nigerians. Welcoming the group, Dame Julie Okadonli called for closer media action in reporting cases of human trafficking so as to enlighten the public. She also sought information sharing to assist in the investigation of human traffickers. We all know the dimensions human trafficking has taken down, even the local dimensions, the international dimensions, and we need your help in this regards to give us also information and also to Enlighten the world coming from Natip's perspective. I expect us to work more closely. I expect to see it on the front pages of the newspapers. There's a new dimension now that has, is going on, mass recruitment of our young boys, young girls, even elderly women to Saudi Arabia and Oman and Dubai under the guise of uh, giving them jobs as house helps and nurses. And we all know what happens to them there. A lot of sexual exploitation takes place, they are killed, their organs are harvested, all sorts of ungodly and un inhuman things happen to them. So we need to stop this and we need to enlighten the public. We also know of the organ harvesting. Unfortunately, most of the cases are quickly and hastily ruled as ritual murders. People are buying these organs and shipping it out. And so when you get reports like that, please let Natip also know all the so-called ritual um, and harvesting or ritual and murders so that Natip can also investigate. The meeting was very successful as the broadcast editors group pledged to assist Natip in the fight against human trafficking. The Director General of NAPTIP was also in the United Kingdom on a working visit where she met with a leading NGO advocating against child abuse. The Director General of NAPTIP, Dame Julie Okadonle, recently met with members of Africans Unite Against Child Abuse, AFRUCA, a non-for-profit organization based in the United Kingdom. Receiving the DG NAPTIP on behalf of AFRUCA, the chair, Janet Latinwo, spoke on sexual exploitation and domestic slavery of Nigerians across Europe and sought ways of partnership with NAPTIP to curb the scourge. 
She also commended the Director General of NAPTIB for her achievements in just a short time in office. Dame Julie Okadonli then spoke about the activities of NAPTIB and also new trends and dimensions in human trafficking. She then stressed on the need for information sharing and made suggestions on ways the NGO can support the fight. The meeting was interactive as members of AFRUCA shared their experiences. Partnership is one of the five-pronged approach employed by NAPTIP in the fight against human trafficking and other related crimes. Back home in Nigeria, Edo State, the Benizono Command and some international partners empowered victims of human trafficking. Don't go away. As part of its policy to prevent migrant smuggling and human trafficking, NAPTIP, in collaboration with the Swiss Embassy and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, initiated the Strengthening Access to Justice and Victim Support Programme. The program recently conducted a business management training and presentation of empowerment equipment to 30 human trafficking survivors in Benin, Edo State. Speaking at the event, the representative of the Director General of NAPTIP, the Director, Research and Program Development, Godwin Morcar, urged the human trafficking survivors to use the donated equipment judiciously. The empowerment items donated include hair dryers, generators, sewing machines, pressing irons, tables, mirrors, gas burners and cylinders, cooking pots, chafing dishes, deep freezers and other catering materials and other accessories. A short drama to showcase the ills of human trafficking, followed by a song to express their gratitude, was rendered by the survivors. Thereafter, the Benin Zonal Commander, Unduka Wenwene, commended the Swiss Embassy and UNODC for assisting the agency to support its victims. Training and empowerment of victims of human trafficking is one of the agency's strategies in rehabilitation and reintegration of survivors. To stem the tide of trafficking of young girls to Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern countries for unverified labor migration, the Investigation and Monitoring Department of the agency recently carried out a raid on the premises in Gwagwalada, Abuja. You don't want to miss us. Following a tip-off, officers of the Investigation and Monitoring Department of NAPTIP recently raided Amazonia Guest House located at number 11 JZ Road, Dagiri, Kwagwalada, Abuja. The raid, which was led by Tina Ogu, an assistant director, included a room-to-room -room search, which revealed that the guest house was used for harboring young girls before being trafficked out of Nigeria. During the raid, 13 young girls recruited from Ibadan Oyo State were rescued and are currently at the agency's shelter. The prime suspect, Abdul Salam Afiz, and the manager of the guest house were arrested. So far, what we have found out is that Mr. Fitz is a major recruiter of girls going to um, Saudi Arabia, cutting across the southwest and Abuja precisely. He had earlier been mentioned in connection with other raids we carried out elsewhere in town. You know, he was he's been on our watch list, but he escaped and we didn't get him. Or should give us information concerning the same Mr. Fitz too, you know. And when we came here, we got him. The investigation is still ongoing. We are still uh, looking for some other people that are mentioned in the course of this uh, assignment now. After the raid, Amazonia Guest House was sealed by operatives of the agency, pending further investigation and prosecution. The identity of the rescued girls was concealed to protect them and their families due to ongoing investigation and pending prosecution. Up next is a sensitization workshop by staff of the Public Enlightenment Department in Government Secondary School, Kujie Abuja. You have to catch them young. Take a look. Staff of the Public Enlightenment Department, led by its Assistant Director, Ebele Ulasi, 
recently visited the government secondary school, Kujay, Abuja, to enlighten the students on the dangers of human trafficking. Various staff of the agency gave lectures on the aspects of human trafficking, such as the internal and external trafficking, domestic servitude, and the elements of trafficking, which include deception, coercion, movement, and exploitation. They also advised the students to report suspected cases of human trafficking and also enlighten their parents. Abele Ulasi led the students through affirming statements. She then shed more light on the exercise. We're here on sensitization of school children on the prevalence of human trafficking in Nigeria and globally as well. Most of the victims of trafficking are little children and because of that we are embarking on a massive sensitization of all the public schools in FCT because we intend to catch them young. We intend to expose the antics of human traffickers. We intend to tell them the modus operandi of human traffickers and human trafficking so that none of them will be vulnerable. NAPTIP information and educational materials were handed out to the students and the school was also earmarked as a member of NAPTIP Brigade. We now bring you sights and sounds from recent capacity building workshops organized by the agency in collaboration with some consultants. The Training and Manpower Department of NAPTIP, in collaboration with Dr. Ezra Yakusak, recently organized a drafting workshop at the agency's Training Resource Center. The Director, Training and Manpower Development, Olubiyi Olushayo, in his opening remarks, commended Dr. Ezra Yakusak for volunteering to train the agency's staff at no cost. He also charged the staff to take full advantage of the training. The training, which covered various aspects of drafting, was very interactive. Speaking on the purpose of the workshop, the Director, Training and Manpower Development called on well-meaning Nigerians to support NAPTIP. Uh, one of the topmost priorities of the present Director General is training and retraining of officers of regions. Uh, this training is coming at the instance of a uh, spirited Nigeria, a uh, very patriotic Nigeria who has uh, volunteered and taken it upon itself to train officers of the agency on the nitty-gritty of writing documents, putting up correspondences for superior officers to avoid the loopholes, to avoid the errors, and to ensure that as much as possible, whatever is put on papers is perfected and is devoid of uh, mistakes and errors. So it's going to be a continuous exercise and we look forward to more of these uh, services by patriotic Nigerians because NAPTI cannot do it alone. In a related development, about 50 staff of the agency were trained on flawless execution of the mandate of the agency imbibing corporate social culture. Constant capacity building is one of the agency's strategies towards achieving international best practice in the fulfillment of its mandate. The Enugu State Zonal Command of NAPTIP recovered a boy of about two years old from his buyer in Obosi, Anambra State. We have to break protocol to reveal his face as we plead with all well-meaning Nigerians and anyone who can identify him to please inform his parents and relations to visit the Naptiv Zonal Command in Enugu State with relevant documents and medical records for identification and reunion. Please be informed that all documents will be scrutinized and further medical tests carried out to ascertain claims. If anyone has a lead, please call 
With all these activities, it is clear that NAPTIP is not resting on its oars to stamp out human trafficking, child abuse and domestic violence from Nigeria. Victim Story segment is next. Don't miss this. Um, from Platte State, my dad is from Platte, but my mom is from Abia State. So when my mom gave birth, my dad now left my mom with me. So when I now grew two years, my aunt now come to the village and see that she wants to take me to the Abuja so that she can take care of me very well. That she's going to do me so many things, she's going to buy for me so many things. So when they brought me to this Abuja, my auntie keep my treating me and all that. Anytime my auntie go to the market or anytime in the night or anytime she's not around, when I'm doing something, my uncle say that I should, I should leave the shop, then I should come and meet him in the room. Or sometimes if my auntie is in the shop, she will say that I should lie for him, that he's calling me to send me to go and buy something. So I'll, I'll go then. My uncle would lock the door and say that I should pull off my clothes. If I pull off my clothes, then he would not see that. He too, he would pull off his clothes and say that I should lie down on the bed. So he told me that I should not tell anybody that if I tell anybody, he's going to throw me out of the house. I mean, I don't know where to go again. So I would not tell anybody, but I told my neighbor. So then I said, that, okay, if you do it again, that I should tell the police. So no police is there. That I, that I can tell, no police there. So when when he continued doing it, I then and I leave the house. I ran to one neighbor house that is living with Napti officer. So she was now shouting that how can my auntie do this? Her own best friend, how can she do this to me? So when that me, I'm not even her child. How can she do this kind of thing to me? So she said, okay, she's going to talk to the police that is near their house. So she did not saw the police, she did not told the police. She did not told the police. And the police now said that they should bring me. And now brought me. Then when they brought me, I now went to the... I now came to the NAPTIP. NAPTIP was now telling me that the rice to eat every day. I said sometimes two times, sometimes once. Now I said, I did not have to pants for me. I said, no. I said, then what you touch me? I said, no. Then I said, okay, I want them to punish my uncle very well. Now I said, why? And I said, my uncle used to sleep with me. Where well, anytime the wife is not around, he used to sleep with me. So then I told the Nazi nurse to go and check me. So when they check me, they say that they saw fingers inside. So then I take me to the hospital also. They say that they saw fingers inside. So I was not telling them my stories and all that. The nurse said, okay, they are going to... The nurse said, okay, they are going to take my case to court. The nurse said, okay, there is a place they are going to bring me to. They are going to take care of me there, and they are going to put me in school there. The nurse said, okay. Then I brought me to this one place. I saw so many faces. I haven't seen the person that I know from now to so her yet. So that is how I became child of work life and child of work and nothing. For more inquiries and support, or to report cases of suspected human trafficking and child abuse, please call NAPTIV hotlines on 0703-0000203 or 0800-2255-627847. Or email info at naptip.gov.ng. Visit our website www.naptip.gov.ng. Follow us on our social media platforms at Naptip Nigeria and watch our videos on YouTube. These stories always have a way of tearing at my heart. It is indeed very upsetting. And this is a warning to all offenders. Naptip is more than ever poised to catch up with you and to you, their victim. Please find a way to call NAPTIP now with the numbers on the screen. This is where we draw the curtain on today's episode. Thank you for watching and do join us again same time next week. I am Imanalo Keke. Goodbye. <laughs>